Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays of Prezone Architects. I'm excited to see how today goes. Got a little bit more of a complicated schedule going on, but I think it's it's not too complex. It works. Okay. I am very glad I noticed this. We're at like 98% capacity here. Uh, the, the workshop items that you add, you know, they're expensive in terms of electricity. They, uh, they use up a lot. Are you kidding me that there's no way for like our workmen to get out there? Okay, well that means we should, it's very simple. Just install a staff door right here. I didn't think that I would have to uh, get to this region anytime soon, I guess, which is why uh, this is becoming a problem. But I would really like you to install the staff door as soon as possible because otherwise our capacitors are not going to get installed and that's going to cause us a lot of problems tomorrow once those saws start whirring and purring, baby. And now our janitor's like, oh shit, look at the... He's got so far to go. What is he going to clean? Oh, it's a gardener. Where are you going, buddy? That's you. You take your job too seriously, man. You don't need to take care of that. That's not the yard, at least not yet. Speaking of which, our yard kind of sucks. Uh, it, it's getting a little bit too small, probably for a prison of this size. But it's easy enough to take care of. Maybe tomorrow we'll do it. So we have uh, maximum security eating. I want to see if they're super mad about things. No, everyone seems good from a sleep perspective. Uh, I think we could uh, add in a couple more guards here. It costs us a little more to hire them now because they get body armor and I think they get tasers every time as well. Uh, did we just have something go down? No, that was just the... What the heck is this guy doing? Just freaking shower, dude. You're just causing trouble standing in there. I guess they have to be in the shower room during the shower section. Um, I'm going to post a guard in our workshop. Because you never know what these crazy cats are going to get up to. We should also have like a door here. So there's a little bit more of like a logical area for them to actually uh, enter. As opposed to walking in from the storage room. And we'll get rid of that garbage. Well, they'll get rid of it automatically. Alright, so I'm interested to see what happens when 10 a.m. rolls around. That's going to be our work period. Uh, dogs, I think, just discovered something. on. Oh no, it's a false alarm. A couple of prisoners have been unnecessarily searched, but honestly, I'm pretty stoked. Most of the prisoners seem to say that they're pretty well treated here. Six prisoners well treated. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. The most important thing, of course, is to make sure that every prisoner is being fed effectively. That's like the easiest need to take care of and one of the most important ones as well. Anything getting done in this workshop? Not... Oh, wait, we got one dude up here. All right. They might start making some license plates. Let's see if we can actually get some exports going here. That would be sweet. Oh, we found somebody going to solitary. Okay, since we have somebody in solitary, I'm going to try this uh, confidential informant stuff again. I guess he has decided not to. Seriously? Unless I'm missing the button? Yeah, unless I'm missing the button... There was a pretty obvious, like, turn into confidential informant button here, but maybe, uh, for some reason, my prison isn't really, uh, con in inducing people to become confidential informants for one reason or another. We did not produce any license plates, but that's okay. We'll get started on that a little later. Maximum security prisoners, the few of them that there are, are eating. How's recreation going down now? I want to take a look. It's not even coming up. That's so good. And hygiene's not coming up either, which actually, for me, means that I think it's time for us to build uh, another cell block here. So we can pretty easily, if we build like a wall across here, uh, just do like some cellular cloning. When I get that feeling, I need cellular cloning. Cellular... Cloning. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, we just put him in a cell and then he just walked away. What is your? What do you do during this period? Is it free time? What time is it anyway? 5 p.m. Lock up. You better be going back to your cell, buddy. This isn't your cell. I remember you being down here. Oh, well, maybe we, we mix him up just to keep him guessing. Fair enough. 
All right, so the prison's running itself right now. This is fine. Uh, let's... Ooh, I think people were getting a little scared there for a minute. What was happening there? Hygiene. People are not showering properly. But now they're showering during their free time. So that means that maybe normal prisoners don't get enough shower time in the morning? Why do you have two hours of shower time? That's not right. I think this will sort it out. Actually, we'll give him lock up there. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Everything seems to, again, be being handled properly. So, uh, we want to build some cells. Let's plan just briefly. So, if we start building from here, we can pretty much just make mirror images of our cells on the bottom. This is two by three. Ah, but we're going to break this wall down. So, it will actually be like this. Like that, and then like that. Oh. And that's going to be two by three. And we can stretch that across like this. It's a very weird build because we already have a wall here. But yeah, this will give us uh, six cells times however many. At the very least, we can put 12 cells in here and get more prisoners coming soon. In fact, I think we could probably do 18. But it has to be across like this. And then, uh, like, four up. Okay. I apologize for planning. Uh, you know, a lot of people probably consider it a little laborious. But it's also fairly uh, necessary, I would say. So, of course, you know, in addition to this, we also have to continue to build out around like so. So that we can have uh, a proper hallway so people can actually access what they need to access. And we'll build our foundation thusly. It is late at night. I hope that they'll be able to finish this foundation before time runs out. Or b before, like, the sleep at night happens. Uh, we'll also get ready to put some more electrical cables in, like so. And I think we'll probably just need, like, one going down the middle. To make sure this is handled properly. And pipes. Pipes are actually a big deal for us right now. Our closest large pipe is here. So we'll do one on the uh, inside wall so prisoners won't have a good chance to escape. Alright, I'm excited. We'll be adding uh, more prisoners in shortly. Do they really have to walk around the entire outside of the building? That's frustrating for them. That's going to make it take a lot longer to build. But it doesn't really bother me that much as long as it gets done. So we're at 45 prisoners. I still don't want to accept any tomorrow, but maybe the day after. And again, this will be kind of where we determine whether or not we're going to need a new, uh, a new shower block. Which we can build pretty easily, just like next to that security room. Even though the officers might not like it that much. Alright, everybody's asleep. Post cat pictures. I... If I just install, like, a staff door on this kennel... Like, this will at least make it a little bit more... It'll have more hallways so that our uh, our workers can easily get from place to place. And now our worker, our workmen specifically can now very easily just put this stuff in here. Which is substantially better than it could have been before. Alrighty. So I have my doubts that this is going to be all built before 6 in the morning. Hopefully it doesn't break so many walls that the prison becomes overrun. But that is always a risk. I didn't do that shakedown, did I? I promise we will do the shakedown. Before the new prisoners arrive, tomorrow, we'll do a shakedown. Because I want to make sure that they're entering a clean prison, you know? I don't want them to be, uh... I don't want them to be uh, entering an area that already has contraband everywhere. Can't believe we still haven't produced any license plates. How's our, how are our programs doing, though? I really hope Foundation Education Program works out for us here. We're going to need another classroom when we want to do GED stuff, but that's okay. Alright, so this is built. It should fill in now. It did break the walls. That's not unexpected. And our maximum security prisoners just happen to be walking by at the exact same time. A little frightening. Shouldn't be too bad, though. Alright, let's get uh, our most basic walls built in here. We'll get the shell of what we want. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, and do we want, uh, doesn't really matter which way these are facing, I guess, but we'll do doors at the bottom. 
just to make sure that we're okay. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we'll draw in these bad boys right here. A little tedious, like again, using the clone tool is probably more effective, especially considering we have like the exact same replicas here. But to some extent, I actually feel like using the clone tool is worse. Because they put the doors on way too early. Do you hear that sound? That was the scariest sound in my whole Prison Architect life. I know the volume in the series is really quiet. That's just because Prison Architect, you know, as it is, is a quiet game. But um, that was that was terrifying. So toilets are going to be on back walls. We know this to be true. So they'll be here. Here. And here. And I'm hoping that we get our... Um, we get our prison a little bit more financially sound soon, because as of right now, we're not making a whole lot of money. We're not, you know, doing badly financially. We're making about a grand a day, but... Actually, we're not even going to be able to deck out many cells here unless we get a grant. Do we have good grants? Increase the size of your security force, unlock body armor. Well, we need... This one gives us CCTV cameras. Crack down on drugs. Find 10 illegal narcotics. Have we found 10? Yes, all right, free money. Tool cleanup. This part of the trial involves trying to remove all such items from your prison population. I have no idea. Um, remove the supply of stolen tools and stolen weapons. I wonder if we can just do that with a shakedown. Speaking of which, uh, the shakedown might not happen tomorrow now that I look at it. It's just taking a little bit too long to get everything sorted out here. And a lot of our guards are being overworked. I think we can put a couple more guards here. Even though it costs us like two days wages per guard. And uh, yeah, it's going to be expensive to put all of our furnishings in here, but it's also a necessity. Can't really have a cell without a toilet. We'd probably want to get uh, more solitary space as well. Hasn't really seemed to matter, except on days when we do uh, shakedowns, though. Alright, so that's that. Spent about two grand on toilets, which means beds are going to be like four grand, I think. Oh, oh. And how many cells are we getting out of this? I think it's 18. They'll pay for themselves. I think each cell takes like 10 days to pay for itself or something like that. What the heck? A riot kicked off. Was it a guard or what? One dead body. Oh, fantastic. Well, did anyone else get escalated to maximum security? Yeah, I think we have two more now. Ah, it was our ex-law enforcement that was in protective custody. Well... We tried. Very sorry about that. We don't have a morgue, so we have to wait for the hearse to show up. And there it is. Well, uh, it turns out our protective custody... When did they get killed? It was probably around like 3? Mm, so just in the hallway. And it's tough luck. These pipes still need to get installed here. Uh, then we'll actually designate these as cells. Alright. Well, that sucks pretty hard. Ah, license plates are being produced. We can actually check out our finances and look at our um, exports. I guess we'll have to wait till tomorrow, maybe. That sucks. You know, we could just install a morgue over here, but I don't think we, there's any grant that like gives us benefit from that. We're pretty close to actually completing this max security one, too. We need like three more security forces. A CCTV monitor and then CCTV cameras, which I now realize have to be hooked up both ways. But let's finish this uh, this new cell block first. I'm very displeased that our... I mean, that's why you need to know that they're ex-law enforcement, right? Stuff like that can happen. And does happen a lot. Like, this is why I like the new update, but at the same time, the new update occasionally uh, takes it to the next level. Potential CI. Okay. Here we go. Recruit informant. Recruit informants. Where are you at here? Now, we can use those when they get out of solitary. I guess the idea is that you're offering them kind of like a, a, a plea bargain. When they're in solitary, you're like, hey, you know, you can make things a lot easier on yourself if you just cooperate with us. And that makes uh, a whole heck of a lot of sense. So we'll install our cell doors here. Half of our cells are, uh, well, more than half, two thirds of our cells are already functional. We'll just wait for those last remaining pipes to get installed, and then we can uh, let in some new prisoners. But this day, today, we'll definitely be doing a shakedown, hopefully to get rid of this tool cleanup thing.
20,000 extra bucks. I mean, I was getting pretty low on money, so this is uh, extremely helpful for me. And apart from that murder, the prison seems to be going relatively well. Still haven't installed these pipes yet. I think our, a lot of our workmen are, like, tired or exhausted. So it's just going to take them some time. And that's okay. What's our capacity? We can hold seven extra prisoners now. Alright, I was wondering, if, like, it's always a little bit of, like, a, a harrowing moment while you wait to see if you can actually, like, if the cells you built are actually proper cells. But they, they are. So we have 20 capacity now. Again, we're not going to let any more in just yet. I don't know what it is with these workmen. Are they tired? They don't seem to be tired. They just seem to not do what I want them to do. What if we installed a small pipe, like, here? Just like clearing the jobs that haven't been done. Trying to put them back again. And maybe they'll decide to do it. This guy's doing something. Hey, there we go. It's a start. Let's go to planning because it's also really annoying when you still have these like squares covered up here. There we go. Alright, all of our cells are now functional here. Rooms. Cell. Like so. Uh, they don't have jail doors yet. Okay, not quite functional yet. That's okay, too. So our capacity is actually going to be 68. It's one away from the magic number, but that's okay. Let's hope for another day without murders. And I kind of want to wait for them to get their needs taken care of first. So we're going to wait until, like, feeding gets up. Like, their food need in particular gets taken care of. And it's looking pretty good, but I think it could be slightly lower. We still have one, like, normal prisoners are just eating right now. So this is when it's going to go down. Very, very, very slowly, apparently. But it'll go down nonetheless. It's probably the prisoners that are, like, in solitary. Alright, uh, I know it's, like, about to be work time. Yeah, food's taken care of. I know it's about to be work time, but it's time for a shakedown. Here we go. 254 places. Not so bad. It's going to take us a little while to get this sorted out. Uh, we're also going to have, like, probably a huge backup of people that want to go to solitary. Or have to go to solitary. They probably don't want to, but uh, this is fine. Hopefully this allows us to get our, uh, our grant taken care of here. And, you know, in Shakedown, people are still doing what they do over the course of the day. It just takes a while for... Uh, hey, we completed the grant for license plates. Okay. Uh, it just takes a while for them to be searched, and if you're searched unnecessarily, you don't really like it. Uh, what is this? What is this thing? Wooden pickaxe! Like, for digging tunnels. Are any of our cells compromised? Can't see. Who had the wooden pickaxe? That's not okay! <laughs> That's, like, the only use for that tool is, is for faster tunnel digging. Uh, I guess we can look in, like, solitary. See, what was your, uh... What were you in there found? Found drugs. What about you? Uh, experience. Found weapons, found tools. Aston Waterhouse, where's your cell, man? I guess we, we can only search their cell if we find them, uh, doing it. Or, sorry, we only see the toilet if we actually, like, are in the process of, uh... It, they're in the process of digging when we find them, I should say. So, we're almost done here. 243 out of 254 places searched. We're still making money. Not a whole heck of a lot. We're going to put a uh, CCTV monitor in here. And the shakedown's almost... Hey, our grant got completed. That's the one I was hoping for. And we can complete our other grant pretty quickly as well, which is good because we're going to need this money for land expansion. Only two more places left to search. I don't even know where they are. One more place. We did it. All right, that's actually a pretty successful shakedown. As far as I'm concerned. Let's focus on... Uh, well, we're going to allow new prisoners again. We'll keep them as medium security because we've been having some issues so far. And uh, we'll install some security cameras. Where would I install security cameras? I think one in our workshop makes a lot of sense. Uh... You know, one in a cell block, maybe. 
Live in a cell block, Vader. Doesn't really make any sense. We can't install cameras in the showers. Oh, we can. We're not really looking at anything good. Okay, one in our yard. Can't install one in our yard because there's no foundation. This is not going fantastically. Okay, one in our classroom. Here you go. You're peeking. One in our, I think this is like our laundry room. That's okay. Just install one here, get a little bit of vision of what's going on. This is like our visitation room here. This is our holding cell. Put one there. Probably should be uh, peeping the cell blocks a little bit. And one, oh, for sure we need some in the canteen. Don't even front on that stuff. All right. We'll wait till those get installed and then we'll do the connections. I realize now, by the way, that uh, thank you to your supports and your comments, that the connections have to be, uh, we should have a guard assigned to the security room. Um, but the uh, connections need to be assigned two ways, not just one way. So we'll wait until these security cameras get built, and then we'll be able to uh, assign them two ways. And if we hire, like, three or four more guards... Uh, actually, like, six more guards. So we'll hire some handlers. And our grant is... Oh, they, they don't count. Twenty guards is when that grant completes. Okay. Are all of the cameras installed? I think they might be. Let's quickly go to utilities. And we want, uh... It wasn't circuits, was it? Oh, now I've forgotten. There was just a connections thing that you draw up. Connect, there we go, alright. So, we want to connect, like, you to you, and then you to you. Did it work? I hope it worked. Are they working? They seem to be connected. Okay. This does work. It's a bit of a roundabout way of making it happen. I'm interested to see how this works, by the way. Like, how this actually benefits our prison. I'm excited by the potential. Can you actually reach? I'm wondering how many they can reach individually, basically. Alright, both of these bad boys, please. This is surprisingly finicky. Do the wires change color as you get too many of them? I don't know yet. Now I'm regretting installing as many CCTV cameras as I did. I don't know how we punish people based on this, either. But this is okay. We'll take our time. You know, it might be a little laborious now. But it'll be glorious later. This is probably the most advanced security for, like, a normal security... 50-person prison. That's okay, baby. As long as it takes care of it. Alright. This guy's living the dream. What else do we have to do? Nine prisoners arriving. Well, we'll see. Um, oh, let's look at our contra or confidential informants. We'll have them uh, activate here. And they'll become a little bit more suspicious as they activate. Um, but at the same time, they'll also give us a little bit more information. So let's see if we can find like any ex-law uh, enforcement. Sorry, that's again in contraband. Informants. All right. Confidential informants. Confidential. What are you doing in here? You shouldn't be in the security room, man. That's a little... That looks a little sneaky. Oh. He's active. All right. Really? This is your route. Are they giving us information right now? Is that how this works? This might be how this works. I've never really done this before. I didn't know they went to the security room. That seems a little fishy to me. Maybe they're scared. We don't have routes for informants as far as I know. Hmm. I don't even know how to look at this, honestly. So, fair enough. I don't know what our confidential informants are doing, but maybe they're having a conversation with our guard here. Let's wait till these new prisoners arrive, and then we'll probably end the episode there. Very pleased with the way this prison is going. I have to be honest with you. I think it's going pretty well. You know what? 
Why don't we take this opportunity to research um, offshore tax haven? Yes, it's super expensive, but the earlier we get it, the faster it'll pay for itself, I think. Do we get any more information then? They're sleeping, so I guess we don't need a guard operating the thing. Um, did we get any more information during our confidential informant spree there? I'm basically just looking for people to put in protective custody. There are some people we should probably put in maximum security as well. Like instigators. Well, a lot of them are already there. But we're also looking for legendary prisoners who are super rare, uh, but also, like, intensely strong. Alright, so yet another day in the prison. New prisoners arriving in two hours. Our informants, you know, suspicions relatively high. We'll activate them again and just see if we can learn some more information about the, the people in our prison here. And here they come. 30 more minutes. Are we making much money from exports? Give it to me straight, Doc. 150 bucks a day. That's not that bad, honestly. I can live with that. Here we go. Ooh, one very special prisoner. Pab Petit Machine Herring, former lead guitarist of the Smooth Suede, now facing death penalty for an on-stage electrocution of his fellow band members. Jeez Louise. That sounds a little scary. Trying to see if there's anybody else. Stephen Davies, no special biography. James Codwallader. It's a great name, but no special biography. I'm looking for special characteristics as well. This guy has a special characteristic, but we don't know what it is yet. We're going to have to get some CIs to take a look at him first. At least we're making a little bit more money again. Yes, this is set up properly. And we can take in another... We have 12 coming tomorrow? We can totally take in 12 more prisoners tomorrow. Uh, the only question is whether or not our shower will be able to handle it. Devoin shower handle. We should probably build another shower section up here. It could be big. Uh, let's see why prisoners feel that they're not being treated well before we end the episode. Lack of sleep? Well, that's new prisoners arriving, I think. Lack of recreation, lack of family. Our visitation room kind of sucks, right? And it's crammed, but we don't have, like, any families that are, are trying to visit but can't get in, so I don't feel like that's really my problem. I'll hire another janitor. Things getting a little, uh, little messy in the prison today. Uh, excuse me. Not sure if you're aware of this, but you probably shouldn't be out there. Same to you. Can we make that area staff only? It's killing their efficiency. Yeah, that's now staff only. You're not allowed out there anymore. Hopefully you don't get put in solitary. That's okay. I just want to take one last look at our uh, informants here before we finish. Contraband, informants, who needs protective custody? Oh, we're learning a lot here. I'm going to activate them again, even though their suspicion is going to go up. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.